hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm about to just do a little bit of skincare you guys will see me run through skincare um in this video um you guys know i've been trying to work on my skin i had this crazy pimple as you can see it's still healing on my face but yeah this is just a little bit of my skincare i've really had to just step it up because obviously like when i am an influencer you know what i'm saying and i my face has to be on camera so I cannot have no crazy looking blemishes on my face, but y'all will see just a bit of my skincare routine. I'll show you what products I'm currently using. Um, and I actually have not been consistent with it, which is probably why this crazy pimple popped up in the first place. Um, but yeah, we're working on it. We, 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 we don't get there. So yeah, um, I actually have been having just the most crazy wildest dreams. Like for the past two weeks, my dreams have been... A full on movies. My dreams have been full on movies, and that's me really just sugarcoating it. Like, I feel like I am being physically transported in like crossing dimensions in my dreams. Like, they feel so real. And like, sometimes I'll swing out of bed or I'll just wake up in a panic because my dream felt so real, or I felt like it was like really me running from the cops or me really like burying a body like which is this sounds so crazy you guys but my dreams really have been nuts lately and for the past two weeks I have been closing my eyes and every time I close my eyes and go to sleep I am in like thrusted into a movie scene it's so crazy and some of the dreams are scary some of them aren't scary um, some of them are just like people I know from my past people I know from my present but the thing is they feel so real and sometimes I have deja vu and I'm wondering like, okay, so am I having deja vu because I, I felt this same feeling in a dream or did it really happen in real life? You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I wake up from the dream and I'm like, oh my God, thank God that was a dream because it just felt unbelievably real. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's something going on in the cosmos, but I have just been having the most vivid dreams of my life for the past two weeks. And uh, it's just like, it's a little bit like overwhelming I just know that every time I close my eyes I'm going to be transported somewhere and I'm just hanging on for the ride until I wake up again my cat has been so clingy lately she's actually right here in my face right now while I'm doing this voiceover for this video you guys can see her greeting me first thing in the morning saying hello um, I love her so much and I love being a cat mom, but this girl has been so needy lately. She over here knocking things over on my desk. So let's get into this skincare routine. It's been a while since I've exfoliated my skin. So I did do an exfoliation with the Girlactic Cranberry Face Scrub. And I really like that the little beads in it, I think really exfoliate my skin and get off any dead skin cells. And then I wanted to go in with this mask that I'm applying now called the Removalist. And it removes all of the extremities and different things from your pores. And I really like it. I leave it on for about like 10 minutes until it fully dries. And then once it's fully dry, I rinse it off and it's like my skin is like brand new. So I really love a mask that you can feel tightening on your face and your face feels stiff. Um, I feel like, I don't know, just to feel the action of that happening, I feel like it's actually doing something. Um, and then I go in with two different toners just because you guys know I've been dealing with a few um, acne bumps and I just really want to make sure I'm properly toning my face and clearing out all of the dirt. Um, also, this is your reminder to wash your pillowcases if you haven't because pillowcases also can cause acne and they can cause texture on the skin and we want glass skin. Okay, that's the goal. So I'm definitely stepping up my skincare a lot more. Um, I do have a fashion show coming up. I have some brand collaborations coming up and I do not want to be Miss uh, Pimply, okay? Like that is just not cute. I'm like, for me, I don't know. For me, I take pimples so serious. Like when something is disturbing the beauty that God has created, I just get so offended. Like, why are you here? Why are you here? I don't deserve this. And so, yeah, I'm definitely going to be more consistent um, I did buy this moisturizer that is a moisturizer plus a sunscreen. Um, sunscreens definitely help with dark marks and scarring. I am the type of woman who gets crazy dark marks 
and scars after acne and it lasts forever and it's extremely annoying. So I've really been applying my sunscreen. If you have any skincare recommendations for me, definitely drop them in the comments. I am so open to trying new things. Whatever works, like let me know, put me on, okay? Put me on in the comments, share what works for you, especially if you have dark marks or scarring. Okay guys, so I was saying in yesterday's video how I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite pieces from my closet. Um, I hope that this camera angle can really capture what I want to show y'all because, you know, I'm a tall girl. But I wanted to get like just the overall view of my closet. Um, this is my closet door. So like you open it and then I have like just like shoes and things here, heels, Crocs, slides, sandals, sneakers, everything. Everything is there. And I have a whole bunch of like, y'all can't see the floor, but I have a whole bunch of like stacks of heels and just shoes on the floor. Okay, so I don't even know where to begin because I just really do have like a lot of stuff in here. Um, my closet has changed so much within the last year and I'm just so proud of like the pieces I've picked up and the way that I dress myself now, like, she a baddie, she knows she a 10. Ooh. <laughs> oh, by the way, y'all, my pimple, like, oh my God. Okay, well, I mean, I still have a blemish there, but it's getting so much better and I'm so much happier. And so I will be making the official just video talking about the past few months of my life, like my mindset, where I've been, why I'm doing daily vlogs on YouTube. Um, I'm not, uh, ditching Instagram, like, I'm very much on Instagram, but just for, like, my mental health sake, which I will get into that, I, I've got to separate myself just a little bit, because I feel like I am, I have an agreement with God, I'm not in agreement with the app, and so I'm just trying to be faithful and really just reset myself, because I just feel like I've given an app too much control, um and different things like that but but that's not the purpose of this specific video right now so when i do do my official sit down video um i want to like get dressed up and i want to look pretty and i want to you know i want to feel like ariel when i make that video because i truly just want to come across as my most authentic self although this is like my most authentic self no makeup like hair just chilling some chill clothes um i just when you look good you feel good and i want to just reintroduce myself as the woman that I am today and so I will get into all those things but for right now we're gonna have a little bit of fun and we're gonna hop into this closet and see what's behind me okay so first and foremost let me show y'all one of my birthday gifts that I am super just I haven't even worn her yet I'm so excited to like rock this outside okay so she's right here So this is my Brahmin crocodile bag and she is such a cutie. Let me see if they have a name. So, okay, so this is the Becca Infusion Ombre Melbourne Genuine Leather Bag. And ain't she, she is just a bad bitch. I'm sorry, she is a baddie. Like, <sighs> hi. Did you say something to us? Like, she is absolutely so stunning. I love her, and I'm saving her. I'm saving her. Like, this is not a bag you just wear every day. I, the outfit's got to be right. Like, everything has to be right when I rock her. Because when I step outside, I'm going to be looking like some money. Period. I'm going to be looking like, like, oh, who is that? Okay, I mean, I'm a head turner either way. <laughs> but when I have this on, two bad bitches, two for one. A two for one. Uh-uh, come on, don't play with her. Okay. So she's the first baddie I want to show you. And let me get right up on her so y'all can see the detail. Okay, next. And like this isn't just a bag video. Like it is like gonna be clothes and things, but y'all, I have some pretty cute bags that I wanna share and show y'all. Um, so this is my JW Pay Ronton bag. I actually just realized the other day that there was supposed to be a latch on here. So you can take this off 
and the bag will like open up even more like you can transform the bag but I think it's so cute the way it's designed to be like it's just like a little handheld and all my things my wallet my phone my keys like everything fits in here even though it's such a cute like little tiny shaped bag like I love her she's a cutie she's a baddie as well genuine leather gorgeous scale. All right, so first I'm gonna show y'all a pair of pants that I wore during my, when I was a speaker on the Talia Wajid um, panel for the 2023 World Natural Hair Show. So there was an influencer panel I was a part of and you know, my stylist, who's my cousin, she, she came through. Sis really came through because I never had got so many compliments on a pair of pants in my life. Um, so here are the pants. And they like flare out at the bottom. Like I'll add a picture you guys so you guys can see how I looked in the pants. But yes, these pants are just to die for. Like, oh my gosh, all pink is giving Barbie. Like they flare out. Like, do y'all see that? Super cute, super cute pants. One of my favorites. I've only worn them one time. Um, I, they actually are from uh, they're from Shein. Okay, and my grandma actually took in the side of the pants because she's just amazing. Like, my grandma was blind in one eye, and she was still able to perfectly alter these pants for me. And I just love these pants and cherish them so much. And I can't wait until I have somewhere to go where I can wear these again. Like, sometimes, like, you feel weird be wearing clothes because I did wear it on, like, a big main stage. And so many people saw me in it. It's been posted on my Instagram, all those things. But, okay, that's only a limited amount of people, right? I could still, like, I, I re-wear clothes. That's why I bought them. Especially if it costs, like, it, co it was costly. Oh, y'all gonna send me about two, three, four, five, ten, twenty times. Okay, some of these are statement pieces. Like, I do plan to pass a lot of things down to my children. Like, some of this stuff is not going nowhere. And this is one of them. Okay, so I have two dresses that I actually got for my birthday from my best friend, Iman. Shout out to Iman. Um, but yes, she got me these from, oh my God, what's the store? Micah's. This online boutique called Micah's. And... You know what? I stopped wearing black just because I feel like black really absorbs a lot of things. You know white and like light colors are reflective whereas black absorbs. And so I feel like when I am wearing black my energy is not as high. I'm absorbing other people's energy that's around me. Whereas when I'm wearing white and light colors I'm, it's more reflective. I'm shining. I love to be the light in the room. Um, and my skin tone, like, my skin, I look incredible in bright colors. Even with, like, those pink pants, this pink bag. You guys will see I am not afraid of color. I do not like to wear black, period. Like, black, I just feel like brings down my energy. And I'm such a, like, happy, bubbly, like, open person. And when I have black on, I just feel like, eh. You know? Like, I know black can be sexy, but we'll save that for the times when that needs to happen, you know? Otherwise, y'all will catch me in some bright colors. So, Iman got it so right. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, these are two, like, silky fabric dresses. Let's start with this one. So, this one does, like, crisscross in the back. I haven't worn either of these yet, but this one crisscrosses in the back. And it's so cute. And I can't wait to, like, have somewhere to go to actually wear this dress. I might have to change the camera angle because I want y'all to be able to see what I am doing. Okay, so hopefully this angle might be a little bit better. I mean, I can't do it long ways because this is YouTube and I just have so much stuff like, anyways, I just have a lot of things back there and so it's like positioning the cameras is gonna be very difficult for me. But I do think that this angle is a lot better. Okay, so. Here is the first dress I was holding up. So it does like crisscross in the back. And you know what, I might have to try some of this on just so y'all can see. But yeah, it does crisscross in the back. It's super cute. I cannot wait to wear it out. Um, 
And then this dress, this dress it gives like, you know you have the, the tops that hang down and like your titties just kind of And then it has like a little mermaid flare in the bottom, like it's mad cute. It's, it's mad cute. It's so, so cute. So, okay, so you can only see like from here up, but you already can see that Miss Mamas is giving, okay? She is she's giving yes and like the bottom flares out so let me see if i can set up my other camera so that y'all can see okay y'all i'm literally trying every angle to get this for you guys but i just cannot get full body I, this is the most that i can do um y'all just have to catch it up catch these outfits on the gram period and i just ate breakfast Ooh. but yes you can see how cute this dress is She's giving like the shape, the silhouette, the ruched area right here. So you can hide like if you have a little bit of a belly or you just ate, have a food baby, like you can hide it. Um, yeah, I love this dress. Absolutely so cute. And I love an open bag. Like I love an open bag because I be in the gym. Okay, so this top right here, she is that girl. Like this is one of my favorite purchases. You guys can see it has like a corset looking situation here and then it has more of like a chill flowy armed look and I like to pair her I love to pair her with my cheetah print bag like this is just she's such a look now I wouldn't wear it with these pants I just threw these pants on for the sake of the video but y'all can see like she be giving and hopefully my nipples aren't showing I'll put on like pasties under this because it is um, just a little bit transparent translucent transparent tr transparent transparent anyways but yes y'all can see that this top is is everything every time i wear this i get compliments like i love the green again color is my thing like she is too cute so this next piece is i call her my transformer dress because I call this my transformer dress because I've been able to finesse this dress so much. Like, I've been able to make it into just a top. I've been able to make it into just a skirt. Like, I've been able to really finesse this dress. It's so little. You guys can see how little it is. Like, if I bend over, everything's going to be out. But I've been able to finesse her into a few, for a few different looks. I actually wore this, like, if you're on my Instagram, I actually wore this to a Barbie event and i made it into a skirt and i paired it with this white top yeah i paired it with this white top for the barbie event and it was so so cute i love how long the little tie up is in the back so it gives like just a little bit extra you know it's such a cute little dress i might i haven't worn it actually as a dress yet but maybe one day i will one day you know when i'm feeling ready to be showing all of that this is like we're on vacation like you don't care like on vacation i don't care what's out whatever is showing is showing because i ain't gonna be back to this country I, I mean i might come back but i won't see y'all same people again you know what i'm saying so i just kind of wear whatever i show all of my goodies which from brings me to the next look i'm gonna show y'all about two more looks then i'm gonna show y'all some shoes and wrap it up but um yes this brings me to my next look which i have not worn because it's just so risque but i'm gonna show y'all I'm sure I'm gonna put it on just for y'all okay so y'all can see this is definitely a vacation beach ready I'm going I'm going to the beach outfit because where else would I wear this I mean some people they might be comfortable showing all of that like on a regular Tuesday afternoon but me no this I'm wearing on vacation I'm wearing this to somebody's beach. I, I do have my panties on still, but you can see how it has big cutouts on the sides. So it's like, it's very revealing. Super short. Like, no, you're not wearing this just because it's hot outside. You're wearing this because, like, you gotta make this into, like, a look. Like, beach club. Like, something. Okay? So, yeah, I haven't been able to wear it yet, but I just have so many things that I've never even worn. I feel like every girl has, like... Just a few pieces she's never worn, just waiting on the moment to bust it out. I actually have a whole suitcase. Hold on. 
So this suitcase is actually filled with like beach stuff, swimsuits, cover-ups, um, hats, like you name it. It can't fit in my closet, but I know that if someone's ever like, okay girl, you ready to go on a trip? I'm, my bags are already packed, okay? I'm ready to go. So yeah, I just have a bunch of stuff and all this stuff, like I've worn some of the things in here, but a lot of it I've never worn before. And so I'm just waiting on that moment. But yeah, love this set. It was a little tricky trying to figure out how to put it on because you have to like tie the sides here, tie it here. Then it has like a crisscross back situation. All right, so next I want to show y'all one of my favorite pairs of pants ever. Um, I'm going to lower the camera so y'all can fully see and grasp why these pants are so cute. But this is like totally not my style. Like I would call these pants to be like school shooter, you know like the school shooter outfits. I don't know if y'all know what that means, but like these are school shooter pants, which sounds terrible to say, but <laughs> but um these pants are absolutely so cute. If if I could wear a pair of pants every day, it would be these. I mean, I always get complimented. They are royal blue again with the color, like you guys know, color is for me. Um, but yeah, super cute, and my butt look nice. Let me lower the camera so y'all can truly see why I love these pants. I think this is the best angle I'm gonna get, but hopefully you guys can see just how cute these pants are. And I actually post a picture just so you guys can see like me wearing these pants in a outfit. But yeah, I love these pants so much. Uh, absolutely adore them. I'd wear these every day if I could. All right, so for the shoes, I moved back to my original angle just because y'all don't need to see as much of me to see these shoes. Let's get into it. So first, I'm going to start with a pair of shoes that I got for my birthday. Now, these girls here. I mean, it's giving princess, okay? It's giving be gentle with me, okay? Like, how cute are these so they're like and I hope the camera is I just hope the camera is doing these shoes justice because I don't know you if you guys can see but they are like sparkly they have little rhinestones like little rhinestones on them that make them glisten so your feet are just shining in pink like it's super girly super femme like super cute shoe absolutely love these gorgeous scales gorgeous scales the cutest little heels very walkable and they have bows in the front so yes i did wear these also to the barbie event like these are perfect for barbie are you kidding and shout out to my besties so my best friends they got me these shoes for my birthday as well yes we love to spoil each other for our birthdays like we do not hold back we're going to let you know how much we love you by spending some coin, okay? Next, I'm going to do a sneaker. So the sneakers I wore to the gym yesterday that y'all saw where I was feeling myself, these are the first pair of sneakers I bought myself in, I couldn't even tell you, in so, so long. So these are some Pumas. I don't know why. I'm just drawn to Pumas. Like, I have a pair of Nikes. Um, I have, like, one pair of Nikes, and the rest of my shoes are Puma. Like, Puma is just for me. I don't know but these are so cute so comfortable and they're super sporty black with like a marble base right here and yeah I really love these sneakers I haven't had a pair of sneakers in a while and this purchase I'm very happy with now I do want to show y'all <laughs> these snakeskin shoes that I bought now this was when like I bought these when like Migos and Thug was like really popular and like these are my slime shoes because obviously the color but yeah I always get complimented on these shoes everyone's like dim shoes right there every time I wear these out super cute I love a good animal print I don't know about y'all but I love a good animal print and these heels I can walk in like I one thing I can do is walk in heels but when they're just too uncomfortable like I'm, I'm gonna go sit down I'm finna go sit down. I can last in them all night, but I cannot with the uncomfortable heel. I, I'll wear them out and I'll make it th through the night, but I'll make a mental note I'm never wearing this ever again. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to show y'all today are these super cute Azalea Wang red heels. Um, 
and y'all these shoes are so cute they're the azalea wang angel energy stiletto Woo! and baby they are so cute but i cannot walk in them and it's such a shame because these are probably one of the cutest pairs of shoes that i own I just, but I look like a freaking idiot fumbling baby, like baby deer learning how to walk when I wear them. So these are the shoes. Yes, very sexy. Very, very, very sexy. Super cute. They have butterflies at the toe. But as you can see, there's literally no support strap like up here. There's no support strap. And I think that's why I have such a hard time. Like I can walk in basically any heel, but these shoes here, they're almost like flip-flop heels. Like they flop up because there's only this first strap here. But they are so cute and so, like they make your feet look mad sexy. And it's just such a shame, like I wanna wear them but I refuse to look like an idiot wearing heels, you know? Like I just can't bring myself to do it. But love these shoes so much. And I'm going to definitely do more videos like this just showing y'all what's in my closet because I have a lot of cute things. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing just a little bit of my style. You guys know color is my thing. Y'all gonna always catch me in something bright, something that's gonna make my skin pop, like these shoes. <laughs> it makes me so sad thinking about these shoes because they're so cute, y'all. Like, so cute. Like, the cutest pair of shoes I own and I cannot even wear them because... This is the type of shoe that you wear when your man is with you and you can hold on to his arm and he can basically carry it, carry you into the restaurant or into the function because without any support, it is just a mess. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of my closet. Um, I don't know what I have planned for tomorrow's video, but we gonna make it up. Actually, I do have some things. I mean, I'm actually in a fashion show and I need to practice modeling my model walk, so I'll probably film myself doing that at the gym i'm gonna take some heels to the gym and i'm gonna practice and all those things so yeah thanks for tuning in guys and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video